Welcome back everybody, in this movie we're going to talk about a room element. Now a room is something that's pretty well understood without too much explanation. I mean after all we occupy rooms in our everyday life, but what is a room really? Is it the four walls that surrounds the room or is it a space that's enclosed? And this is precisely the challenge that the Revit programmers had to solve when devising the room element. So in Revit, we have a room, the elements are special objects that automatically conform to shape of surrounding geometry and thus accurately represent the space so enclosed. However, they don't actually display anything on screen unless they are selected, which is also the way we would typically want them to behave. So let's get started with adding rooms to our plan. If you look at it in the architecture tab, we have this room and area panel. Now we have this room command, we have room separator, and we have room tag. Now let's select the room command. Once I select that, I get to this modify panel, which has three options, tag on placement, highlight boundaries, place rooms automatically. Well, we don't want uh, two rooms to be placed automatically, right? So now let's move our cursor to our working canvas and if I move my cursor inside this room as you can see those blue lines which are basically surrounding and automatically uh, Revit automatically detects that this is a room and if I take my cursor to this solid and as you can see it's detecting that this is a surrounding wall so it's gonna give us this tag and it's gonna consider that as in the room. Now if I take my cursor in the living area now basically we don't have any enclosing walls or any lines so it's actually taking all of this space as in room now now let's add some room elements to our rooms now this is our bedroom so i'm gonna click here and i'm gonna press escape now we have successfully added a room tag here now revit basically named that as room and revit gave this as a room tag number six if we look at the properties, we have here number of the room, we have the name of the room, and if you want to add an image, you can do that as well. And then we have a comments for this room, whether it's a bedroom or living room. So what I want to do, I want to change this number to 1. And I'm going to click on apply. And now I'm going to go back to the room command and select that, and I'm going to drop this and make this as a second room. Now as you can see that we have this room number one and once I click on again inside any other room so Revit automatically knows that this is a second room. Now let's do that here as well. Let's add that here. Now there is a problem here. These two are the separate rooms but we don't have any surrounding walls. So how do we fix that? I'm going to press escape and now we have this command called room separator. This is basically a straight lines that you can draw to represent the room separation. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to draw a room separator here. Now we have this line. This is basically representing a room separator. And then we need to do it here as well. So I'm going to select this room separator command. And I'm going to represent this area as a kitchen area. So let's just draw a line here. And then this is going to be stairs area. So we'll just draw a line here as well. So we're going to start from here, taking all the way to the top. And then we have pretty much everything set up now. Now let's select the room command again. And now I'm going to give this as a third room here. As you can see, after drawing this line, we can separate these two rooms. I'm going to click here, click here, click here. And then we have this area as well. We don't have any line here. That's why it's going to take us the whole lot here. So we just leave that empty for now. We're going to add a room here, room here. And then we are going to add a room here as well now you look at it that Revit automatically added all the numbers here 
Now, this is these two are a bedroom, right? So we can just select this tag. As you can see, it highlights the surrounding walls as well. And then I'm going to go to properties and we can change the number there as well. Or you can, if you want to change the text here, you can simply click on the text and then change the name to bedroom. Right. And then we can change the name of this room to bedroom. Now these two are the toilets. So I'm going to select them, press control key and select both of them. So select these tags and try to hover once you these two cross lines, then select both of them. And here we have the room name. I'm going to change this to toilets. So select that. Apply. And there you go. Our text has been changed. So this is how you can add rooms to your drawing. Let's look at a few other modification that you could do with the room. So I'm going to select this room and I'm going to go to modify tab. And here we have an option for select house. If you want to draw the same room and bring it to the next house, then you can click here, select host, and you can pick a new host as well. So now we have added the rooms. If we look at in the project browser, we have these schedules and quantities. If we go to the room schedules, and as you can see here, we have the room numbers, we have the room names, how many rooms we have in the house so this is a great way to show to your construction person who's building your house we'll talk about sheets uh, in the sheets section let's go back to level one floor plan and this is the command that you can just you know let's say i want to show you one more thing here so let's say you select this room tag here and you select the text and then you delete it now, once you delete that, it says, give you a warning at the bottom right here. It says the room tag was deleted, but the corresponding room still exists. You can place the, another tag for the room using the tag tool or select the room to delete it. Right, so I'm going to select this tag command and I'm going to drop it here. And just pay attention once I drop it, what happens? So as you can see that if I drop that room here, it already knows that this area is bedroom two. Now, if I take this here, it will change the room command or it will just remove the room card because we don't have any room element here. Now let's go back and try adding a room here as well. So let's add a room and now we select this room and delete this. The room's still there because we have this cross icon here, but we just deleted the tag. Now if I go back and select tag room, and if I bring it back here, so as you can see, it knows that what kind of room we added before. So Revit remember things. Now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete the tag as well. So we don't have any room here now. But if you look at in uh, this room schedule here, we still have the room number 12. So we select it, we click on delete and we delete this row. Let's go back to level one. Now I'm going to use this wall command and draw a few random walls here. We'll delete them later, but I'm just going to draw a couple of walls here and make them a room. Right. And now once I select this uh, room command and we have an option for place rooms automatically. So if I click on that, it will automatically place all the surrounding rectangles or anything surrounding everything it will be it will place all the rooms automatically now as you can see here we have the room 15 here and we have 14 13 right so that command just makes the rooms automatically but i would highly recommend if you are creating a room element just do that manually because in a large project you might want to change the numbering of your room you might want to change the text of your room element so it's a good idea to place them manually now we have this option in the room tag highlight boundaries once i click on that it will just highlight all the boundaries available to place a room in your project. When I close, it will go away.